Okay, so a really common question that I get asked is, how do I keep my plants sitting in water? What does it actually look like? And what is this tray method you talk about? And I know a lot of people do better with a visual representation of what we're talking about rather than me just trying to explain it in words. So we're gonna take a look at my plants and how you can replicate that at home. All right, let's take a look. So here I have this beautiful potted Venus flytrap and it's sitting in this lovely deep saucer. And this is actually just a floral tray. We get these at a florist supply company. You can find them there. You can also find them online sometimes. You could easily get just a really large undraining ceramic pot that's bigger than the pot you have. One of the things we like to recommend though is that it's much wider in, than the pot you have your plant sitting in. So you can see there's quite a lot of room, right? It makes it way easier to water and it makes it easier for you to get in there and do what you need to do. So as you can see, this plant is sitting in water up to here. So I just pour the water in. It can actually be all the way up to here on this Venus flytrap. And it's gonna be really happy with that. It saves me a little bit of work when it's all full. In fact, when we first watered this, we did fill it all the way up to this line. And you can totally replicate this at home. You can also see all of my plants here are sitting in water. This is the tray method. So you set your plants in an undraining tray, fill it with water. This is a great way to recreate that bog environment, have it sit in water, and have the plant never dry out. 